Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. So, you saw me and my fiance Kelly went to the King of Prussia Mall, KOP Philadelphia. One of the biggest malls in Philadelphia, which is pretty cool. We went to Louis Vuitton Boutique and I had a chance to try out the new City of Stars, the new release from the house of Louis Vuitton. Shout out to the sales rep Haley for actually telling me more about the fragrance, the story, the note breakdown, so on and so forth. If you'd like to purchase this fragrance, I'll leave her... Her account information right here on the screen with her name or phone number and email to reach out to her she's an amazing associate this video is not sponsored by louis vuitton at all it's just she helped me out with a lot of stuff and she was very kind enough to give me a samples of some fragrances that i wanted to try to buy in the future i told her i already have afternoon swim so she's like okay you're already a customer so here you go so she gave me a sample of city of stars i'll zoom in and show you guys which is pretty cool this is a auto perform concentration the prices went up a little bit. So it used to be like, I think, $265. Now they're $280 for a 100ml bottle. And they are $410 for a 200ml bottle. I'll leave the website down below with her information if you'd like to buy it or contact her about any fragrance-related questions. Let's spray this. I wore this at the boutique. I did about six sprays on my wrist. So I kind of worn it already for about a whole day already. And I'm going to spray it again, but I'm going to give you my overall feeling about the fragrance the first day i wore the fragrance this is the second day i'm wearing it you know if i'm going to buy a bottle or not so here we go i'm going to spray it on a test strip and then i'm going to spray it on my skin in a moment so the note break that i'm going to put on the screen right here is blood orange lemon red mandarin bergamot lime and we have taro accord so oh man this fragrance opens up very fresh in the open you definitely pick up the lemon and bergamot do get this tropical feeling of fragrance. And fragrances, I think, this kind of smells similar to. It's fragrances like Goldfoot and Banks, Bohemian Lime. And it smells like fragrances like Creed Virgin Island Water. Creed Virgin Island Water gives it that tropical feel of the fragrance. It's not a clone of this fragrance, so relax. It just has that mindset. So if you like these fragrances like this or like this, you're definitely going to love this fragrance here, guys. Perfect unisex fragrance. Me and the sales associate Haley talked. She said a guy could wear it as so as a female could wear it. Some men may not like because it, it has that suntan lotion vibe when you smell the fragrance. This reminds me of a tropical beach or going to the shore. Like I go to the Atlantic City Boardwalk, walk around, lay on the beach, just enjoying the summer or spring life. Definitely pick up the lemon in the opening. Very bright. Um, fresh opening. You definitely pick up the bergamot and the lemon. All those notes combined are so beautiful and juicy. It's like a juicy fragrance in a fresh way. Not too much of a fruity way, so keep that in mind. Now, that suntan vibe is kind of throughout the life of the fragrance, so if you don't like that suntan lotion feel, you may not like this fragrance, so keep that in mind as well. But you should know from this fragrance here, it has that vibe to it, so you may like it or you may not. There's a floral touch to this fragrance as well with that taro accord. That gives it a um, a island spicy white gardenia flower vibe. Some people may not like that gardenia flower vibe because it does kind of lean more fe feminine on one side. But this is actually a great unisex fragrance. A guy could pull it off. It could go either way. Some guys like masculine. This is not a masculine scent. This is more of a fresh summer um tropical fragrance so some men may lean not to want to buy this fragrance might prefer afternoon swim which is fine but guys it smell it smells amazing i'm gonna spray it on my skin um so this will be my scent of the day again so i'll spray a little bit on my wrist here okay do some on my neck see how long it lasts on my skin the time now is 501 so i'm gonna write that down 501 so, on my skin, I get more of the lemon in the opening. You do get some bergamot in the background as well. But on my skin, I get more lime and I get like a sea salty beach feel on, this, on my skin. And it's just gorgeous. It's very beautiful, bright. This is a perfect fragrance for the up and coming month. They release this fragrance at the perfect time for the perfect season. Some fragrance companies don't do that with the world with COVID and everything. So, they some fragrances that got been pushed back now are coming out that should have came out in the fall. But now coming out in the in the summertime and vice versa, this is a perfect time, guys. If you're looking for a beachy fragrance, something very fresh, uplifting, there is some floral touches to it. Um, there's a brightness to it, very um, makes you happy and smile. 
great fragrance for the warmer months. You will get compliments with a fragrance like this. You will. I think people will enjoy this type of fragrance. Is it expensive? Yes. $280 for a 100ml bottle is a lot. Can refillable when you're done with the bottle. It's about $175, which the Haley, the Louis Vuitton representative, told me. Definitely check this out. Go to Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton Boutique and try it out. So, for me wearing a fragrance yesterday, I did about um, five sprays right here. And I did about five sprays here at the store. Did She told me I could spray as much as I want. So, I was very happy because it was a tester. So, she said nobody really came in today to smell fragrances. So, I wore it yesterday when I was at the boutique. I sprayed it on my skin. And I got about six hours on my skin from the first time spraying it from the bottle at the boutique. So six hours isn't bad for a freshie. Now, the weather wasn't really warm. It was 55 degrees where I live at. So if maybe if it was 70 or 80, it might get seven or eight hours. I'm not really sure. Keep in mind, everybody's skin chemistry is different. You might get nine or 10 hours. You might get three or four. It's a very fresh fragrance. Definitely go to a Louis Vuitton boutique or anywhere that sells Louis Vuitton fragrances. Spray it on your skin and see if you like the fragrance because it might lean feminine on your skin. If you're a man, you may not like that. And some of these notes are very fresh notes, but that floral touch might lean you the other way where you do not want to buy this fragrance. It's hard to recommend to blind buy this at $280 unless you have the money to spend and you're willing to take the risk 50-50 if you love it or you don't, you want to resell it, that's fine, or decan it, whatever you want to do, so on and so forth. But I suggest you go there, highly suggest you go there and try it on your skin because it changes on people's skin. I love this one a lot, guys. I'm very happy with it. I am about 85, 95% sure I'm going to buy a bottle for my birthday upcoming in April 30th, so... I am almost there. I just want to test it out a few more times on my skin to make sure I get that six hour mark still. If I get more, that's awesome. But the first day I wore it, I got six hours of longevity. Projection is good so far for about a good one to two hours. It's like a scent bubble around me so I can detect it because I did spray it around my neck as well from the bottle. But definitely try it out. I think it's going to be amazing summer fragrance slash spring fragrance as well. You guys are going to love this type of fragrance. So mind you going to the beach or a tropical island. If you like them type of fragrances or that type of um, sound of a fragrance or the name I'm saying, you're going to love this fragrance. I highly suggest you should check it out. I will have an updated video, a full depth review if I buy this bottle in about three weeks uh, on April 30th. I have an updated video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Haley from Louis Vuitton, for giving me the sample to test out. I really do appreciate it. If you guys... Heard of this fragrance? Let me know in the comment section. Do you love it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What's your favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance to wear all year round or spring or summer? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.